It's really special being able to do this our senior year and do it four or three years before this and just with another team. It's just so exciting. We're ready to enjoy it with our team. Uh, this being my senior year, along with Jordan and Abby, um, that this experience is going to make it ten times better. And I think that we've always wanted to, everyone wants to finish their senior year with a bang. And so for us to be able to go to the state tournament, um, regardless of the class, I think it's going to be an awesome experience for us. And we hope that we can succeed there. True to form, the Lady Raiders have booked themselves yet another appointment with Destiny and find themselves just one win away from that much anticipated potential title game Battle of Superpowers versus Lombard Montini. But before they can give everyone the show they've been waiting a year to see, there's one obvious order of business to attend. I mean, you can't just be looking at Montini. I mean, the next game we're going to play is going to be tough. It's not going to be handed to us. And we have to look at that game right now because that's the game that's actually going to decide if we can even get to the state championship game. That hurdle presents itself in the form of an admittedly upstart Morton program, but one fronted by a true franchise forward, an all-stater and University of Illinois recruit, Sarah Livingston. Well, she reminds me a lot of the Cunningham girl from uh, Columbia Rockbridge, just with her overall size and athleticism. Uh, she's going to be a load on the post. We're going to have to throw a couple different people at her, maybe try to keep Jordan out of foul trouble by Gardner. So Mary Beth Huckenberg may draw the assignment to start out with. But, uh, you know, from our standpoint, uh, we just have to defend their guards. If we can limit them good entry passes into Livingston, we may take away some of their offense. So that's what we're hoping to do. It's a defensive challenge that once again puts Mary Beth Hugenberg center stage. And to this point, her elevation and improvement has been a critical X factor in this run. She filled that fifth spot. Uh, there, there's no doubt that we're going to the state tournament because Mary Beth Hugenberg really is the most improved player in our entire program. When I realized, you know, it's regionals, I only have, a, this might be my last game with this team. I mean, I just got really focused and determined. I think Mary has really stepped up. At the beginning of the season, she was a little bit timid just because she's never played at a varsity level. But I think this year she's really stepped up for us defensively and offensively, and she's been a great attribute to our team. She's filled a void by nine players that left our program last year, and uh, without her a great play this year, we're, we're not sitting where we're at. I mean, just huge contributions time and time again, and really now you're starting to see the defensive end of her really stand out.